everyone. Today we're doing things a little bit different puppies. Today we are reading about a puppy. So it's going to be called Rocket and the Perfect Pumpkin. All right, so are you a puppy like Rocket? Maybe? Can you bark like a puppy? Oh, that's good barking. All right, so let's read our story. It is fall. Do you want to find a pumpkin with me, Rocket? Bella asks. Yes, Rocket says, today is the perfect day to find a pumpkin. Rocket and Bella go up the hill to the pumpkin patch. The pumpkin patch is full of pumpkins. Ooh, a lot of pumpkins. Some are big, some are small, some have bumps, some have spots. There are so many shapes and sizes. Have you been to the pumpkin patch? Rocket sees a pumpkin he likes. It is big, round, and very orange. It is the perfect pumpkin, says Bella. The pumpkin is too heavy to carry. Rocket and Bella push and push. The pumpkin starts to roll. They push and push. The pumpkin rolls faster. Oh no, says Rocket. The pumpkin is getting away. Uh-oh. Rocket and Bella run down, down, down the hill. The pumpkin rolls down, down, down the hill. The pumpkin bumps into Mr. Barker's house. <laughs> Mr. Barker wakes up. Mr. Barker is not happy. Bark, bark, bark. He sniffs the pumpkin. It is big, round, and very orange. Rocket and Bella reach Mr. Barker's house. Sorry, Bella says, our pumpkin got away. That is a perfect pumpkin, Mr. Barker says. You may have it, says Bella. Yes, it's for you, Rocket agrees. Mr. Barker loves his pumpkin. He's very happy. That was very nice of him. Making friends happy feels even better than having a perfect pumpkin, says Rocket. Yes, Bella said, making friends happy feels great indeed. <laughs> do you think they'll go back to the pumpkin patch and get another perfect pumpkin? I bet they do. <laughs> All right, puppies. Have a good day. Bye-bye.